Today I will tell you how to do this. Welcome to Shoot That Video. Hi guys, welcome. Today I have for you a After Effects tutorial. I will show you how to do motion tracking and for example, I use text. So how to motion track text to a subject. Let me start by saying that I'm a not an expert in After Effects, but I use it for very specific things like motion tracking. So that's something I wanted to share as quick as possible in this video. So everybody can do this because it's quite nice. Let's jump right in After Effects. No, because I always start in Premiere Pro. So I'm editing in Premiere Pro and then I have one clip I want to do motion tracking on. So how I open a clip in After Effects is right click on the clip I want to use and then go to replace with After Effects composition. I click on that and then it opens After Effects by itself. Now it's asking me to make a new project file. I do that by uh, giving it the title uh, Catamaran Cruise Tutorial. I save it in the right folder. Uh, I click save and then the clip pops up. So I don't have to deal with the composition of the project file. I don't have to deal with the settings and things like that. It pops up. It's good to go. I don't have to deal with anything. The thing I use the most is motion tracking text. So that's what I will do in this tutorial too. So I just take the type tool and I type something I want like Catamaran Carus. So I make it a bit larger. Then you can also of course add a line or something from here to here. Then make it the stroke a bit bigger. Something like this. I think this is what they call designing and I'm not a designer, I'm a filmmaker, so I will keep it just like this. So now we're going to add a new layer by clicking uh, the right mouse button underneath layers, then new and then a null object. We're going to add a null object. A null object is a invisible layer, but you can give it all the settings and all the information of a visible layer. I think that's the best explanation I have for you right now. But now we're gonna do the part of motion tracking. So we click on the video because we have to track the video and not any other layer. Then you have to find the tab of uh, tracking. That tab is called tracker and I have it here in the lower right corner. But if you can't find it, you can always go to window and then find tracker and you can activate that so it appears somewhere in the screen here you have a couple of options but what we're gonna do is track motion so we click track motion and then a track point appears in the video so you can zoom in by just scrolling on the video and now we have to choose a track point so we pick this up and we can choose any point in the video but you have to find a point with enough contrast so if there's not enough contrast it can't track your footage but luckily on this boat, there's enough contrast because it has some windows here or I can track maybe this little point of the eye. And you can also track like larger objects by just making this larger. But I will go for the point of the eye of this text. So if I track something at the end of the ship, then the movement can be a little bit different. So I will try this point. So I will start at the beginning of the video and then I can hit play and that says analyze forward. You can also hit the other button and that's analyze one frame forward, but then you have to click like hundreds of times if it is a big clip. And if you hit play, it, it will analyze and hopefully it will analyze well. So it's busy right now and you can see it's doing quite okay. It's doing pretty good. It's doing really good. Oh, 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 of course. <laughs> of course, of course, with a lot of movement at the end, as you saw, um, it loses the point. But it did pretty well. 
if it's not doing good enough and the tracking point is all over the place you can just do it manually by uh, clicking the buttons analyze one frame forward or backwards and then you can try it again if it's really shitty and it can't find the tracking point at all then just find a new tracking point with more contrast or make the track point bigger so it has more space to track something but for me it worked perfectly so today we're just tracking to the text but like you see here you can also track rotations and scale so that's quite nice if you want to do more like 3d tracking so now we have to stick this information to the null objects uh, we do that by clicking the button edit target and there it already says null one but maybe if it's set shape layer one you have to change it to null one we click okay and then we can apply the tracking information to the null object by hitting apply it asks you one more time motion tracking apply options x and y dimensions x or y y is vertical and x is horizontal but we want both of them so x and y is okay we hit okay so now if we look at the null object and we hit transform then we see all these small keyframes and all these keyframes are the tracking information we just did so the only thing we have to do now is sticking the line and the text we made to the null object we did it with a line and text but you can of course also do it with a picture or something but we can link these things to the null object by parent and link and it has a little funny scroll in front of that click that and drag it to the null object and then you can see like the null one is linked to the shape layer but you can also do that over here null one and it's the same thing so now if we hit space and we play the video it's perfectly tracked this is a video with not a lot of motion i like this effect more on videos that don't have a lot of motion so the text is going all over the place but just like a small little detail so it stays nice and the beautiful thing is because we linked after effects with premiere pro the video we made is already changed in premiere pro so we don't have to import anything now it's linked and it's nice and it's so i hope you really liked this video and if you did if you liked this quick tutorials let me know in the comments down below and you can also of course subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're always up to date when i'm posting a new video and then i hope i will see you in the next video here on shoot that video bye bye